hello guys and welcome to another edition of uh, tips for dummies today uh, I'll be showing you how or the easy way to uh, remove the um, ABS uh, control module I seen some videos and they want you to take all this uh, stuff out the uh, filter the oil filter the brake and everything they want you to move it apart so that way you can get to it however I think there is a much simpler way and that's by removing the uh, the light itself I think there is an easy access uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna remove the light and I'm gonna test I'm gonna disconnect it to do a test myself but I'm gonna show you how uh, if it is it, it works out all right, so let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna begin by disconnecting uh, the, uh, by removing the top bolts with a number eight socket. I'm not saying that's the same as yours, but uh, just find the, uh, the ones you believe will fit on your vehicle. And we're gonna go ahead and remove these two. I'm gonna put it right here. And right in here. All right. So, yeah, there's only two. As far as I know, as far as I know, it was only two. Two bolts and uh, I got and I get the uh, you can see right there right here is the uh, the ABS the ABS uh, uh, control module uh, right now is, is that easy it only took me 10 minutes to get to it uh, instead of instead of disconnecting everything on top all you have to do is take the light off and you'll get to it right now I'm gonna disconnect all the wirings the lights because I'm gonna do a test first And what I want to do, what I want to do is I want to disconnect the uh, harness just to see if by disconnecting it eliminates the uh, problem that I'm having which is as you can see breaking stuff right here that I'm supposed to but I just want to see how to uh, disconnect the, the harness and uh, oh, it's kind of dark in there this one right there uh, but with a screwdriver so uh, I had to put a uh, light so that way the camera can see with a screwdriver I had to push this like pulling it out this is like to hold it in place I don't know if you can see it so all you have to do is yeah just pull it out this is what's holding the uh, switch in place
and after that you can disconnect this quick like this it's already disconnected see there now my phone is gone because I was using it for light but I'll get it from down here okay so I got the uh, I got the switch disconnected it is right here flying around right here probably gonna put a tape on it so that way it won't get dirty right now but on the meantime uh, what I'm doing is just that uh, I'm having a lot of troubles with the uh, cluster uh, the uh, cluster it just goes crazy. It, uh, it stops functioning like 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 it loses communication. And uh, so it was the ABS uh, after they did a lot an intensive checkup. And uh, well, uh, so so I heard, not quite sure, that by disconnecting the ABS. And if it stops doing what it was doing, well, that's what the problem is. So I'm gonna put the, just the light back on, just to... Just temporarily. I'm gonna put the light back on. So that way I can test the vehicle. Um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna see if the cluster stops doing what it is. And if it is, then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, uh, the uh, uh, ABS control module. And I'm gonna probably uh, send, it, send it for repairs. And uh, let's see how it comes out. I'm getting tired of this. It's a lot of troubleshooting and if it works so well, I'm saving you the time. So I'm gonna try it. All right guys, so after all the uh, testing, I already tested out for a couple of days, the trans safe mode went away. So it is, it is the, um, the uh, ABS control module, the one that is causing the problem. I, I nailed it, I had a hard time 